Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here, and today I'll be showing you how to install and configure sudo on a Linux system. So in front of me, I have a base Arch Linux install. There's really nothing on here. I do have my root user. So now if I want to run anything with root privileges, I have to do su space root and then log in using my root password. Now this forces me to use my root user to execute anything that requires higher privileges and that's where sudo shines because it's a package that helps you run other commands and programs with super privileges of the root user. And if you're new and stopping by to watch this video today, make sure to subscribe below and hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. All right, so now that you know what sudo does, what's the importance of sudo and why do we really need it here? Well, this is a pretty dangerous way to run your system because it means that if it was ever left unintended, someone would be logged in with super privileges and could do anything that they want on your system. Usually this is not advised because it can, of course, cause a security risk here. So I'm going to exit out of this user and go back to my normal user. The first thing I'll show you is here with my normal user, if I try to install the package with pacman here, pacman space dash sy, and I try to install sudo it'll say that you cannot perform this operation unless you are root. So we can already see an instance where we need to be logged in as the root user in order to run an operation, but we wouldn't necessarily want to be logged in forever with that root user. So first I'm going to log back in using su space root and then type in my administrative password. Now I'm the root user. Let's install sudo by doing pacman space sy and then typing in sudo. After it finds the package, it'll ask you if you wanna proceed with the installation. Go ahead and do so. It won't take that long. And now we have sudo set up. So if we run sudo, we see all these various different arguments that we can run with it. But before we start going in and using this, we'll need to edit the config file for sudo in order to accept specific groups and or users. And since we haven't set up a user who can use sudo quite yet, we'll still need to do this under the root user. So let me clear things out. And if you went ahead and made it this far, please smash that like button for me. It really does help me out. All right, the next thing I wanna do here is make an edit to the sudoers file. We can do this by typing in editor, all caps equals, and here is where you specify the text editor you want to use in order to edit this file. I'm going to use Vim, you can use Nano or something else, whatever you're comfortable with, feel free to use it. And then I'm gonna put a space and type in vi sudo. After that, I'll press enter and that will take me into a file. I'll go to the bottom of this file. So we already have one user privilege specification here. So root is allowed to, and here we can see that there is a user privilege specification already made for the root user, which really just means the user root here can run all commands as any user and that these rules apply to all commands as well as all users called root from any host on this computer are also able to issue all commands. Don't let that confuse you too much. What we're more interested in is some of these groups down here. So the percent wheel means the wheel group. Now, if you didn't have a percent sign in front, that would actually mean the user wheel. So it says here, uncomment to allow members of the group wheel to execute any command. And then this one is not that safe because it says it's the same thing without a password. I don't like using that and I don't recommend using that. Instead, I like allowing the wheel group here. And that way, when I specify a new user, I can always give that user the group called wheel in order to allow them to have super user privileges. Down here, you also have another option, which is the pseudo group, which does very much the same thing. But instead of adding the user to wheel, you must add it to pseudo. Whatever you like using and whatever you're more comfortable with, you can use, but I'm going to stick with wheel here since I already have my normal user a part of the wheel group. So after making that change and uncommenting that section by removing the hashtag, I can save this file and exit. And then I'll clear things up here. 
And right now, you can tell that I am of the user root because it says root at Savvy Nick. I'll exit out of this user, and now I'll give sudo a shot. So if I type sudo this time, let's use pacman again, because I wasn't able to before. And this time, I'll try installing NeoFetch. And if I press enter, now I get a different message here. It's not telling me that I'm not allowed. Instead, it's asking for a password using sudo to access my root user. So if I put in my password for the user, that should allow me to run this command as a super privileged user. So I went ahead and did that. And you can see right here, it's asking me if I want to proceed with the installation. I sure do. And now I can run NeoFetch if I wanted to. So that was fairly easy. This is an important thing, I believe, to set up for any bare bones Linux install that doesn't already have a program similar to sudo. It's just not a good idea being logged in as the root user all the time. And this is a great way to get around that. So now if I wanted to issue another command, I can't just type in pacman sy and let's try getting htop this time. It says again, you cannot perform this operation unless you are root. And that's because we didn't put sudo at the beginning of that. And you might be asking if I wanted to check what groups a user was a part of, how do I do that? Well, you can type in groups space the username and that will tell you what groups a specific user is a part of. If you'd like to add a group to a specific user, you can type in sudo followed by a space user mod space dash a space dash capital G and then a name of some group that you have. So let's say wheel for me is the one that I'm allowing through the sudoers file to access the root user, the super privileges. So I'll put wheel and then followed by my username savvy Nick and that would add the group wheel in. So if I type in group savvy Nick, I'll see that we still have wheel in there because it was already there. But if you didn't already have it in there, it would add it. Otherwise, if you're a brand new user, you can do this as well. Just make sure if you want them to have the capability of using super privileges to add them to the proper group as well. Well, that's about it. And congratulations if you made it this far. You've successfully installed sudo and made edits to the config file so you can use sudo with specific groups. Well, that's about it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them in the comments section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me and a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.